Hi everyone! So I am here today to talk all about sheer lipsticks. If you guys have watched my videos, you'll know that I am absolutely in love with sheer lippies. So today I'm going to be focusing more on the higher end sheer lippies. So these range in price from around $30 to $40. I've done a lot of reviews on drugstore sheer lippies as well, and I love those too. I think they are a very good alternative. They are very similar. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the high end ones in case you are thinking about um, one of these products or you're wanting to invest in something a little more high-end in terms of lipsticks. I'm going to be reviewing five different sheer lippies today that I feel are worth the money. I have a range of different shades in my collection and I'm going to be swatching them from light to dark. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Dior Addict Extreme. The shade I'm going to be talking about today is number 339. It's called Silhouette. It's a beautiful peachy nude. The packaging of the Dior lippies is absolutely gorgeous. It's in like this thick acrylic case. A little knob on the bottom and that's actually where the lipstick resides. So you pull on that to get the lipstick out. This lipstick is 3.5 grams and I've used quite a bit of it. Not sure if you can tell. So one thing about the sheer lipsticks, you do have to reapply them a lot because they don't last very long. And I find these last between one to three hours on my lips depending on what I'm doing whether I'm eating or drinking or if I'm outside and it's really dry out I may have to reapply more frequently but they feel really comfortable on the lips and that's what I like about the sheer lippies they're almost like a balmy texture and I love that they have like a little hint of color so with that being said let's go ahead and swatch the sky so here is the swatch on the back of my hand so that was around three swipes and it yields a really nice peachy nude color I just think it's really really pretty again for the spring and summer the one thing I really like about the Dior Lippy is that there is no scent and no flavor. So here is Silhouette once it's been applied to my lips. As you can see the color is really subtle. It's um, slightly buildable but you won't get too much opacity with this product. The texture is really smooth and creamy. I just love this formulation. The next product I'll talk about is one of my favorites and it is the Burberry Lip Mist. I have the one in number 209 Feather Pink and it's just a gorgeous pink. I've been wearing this a lot and this is probably my most used sheer lippy. The packaging once again is absolutely beautiful. It's a mirrored case. It's kind of like a pewter slash silver color and as you can see on the case there's the signature Burberry check and it's just kind of like etched into the case. So it's really beautiful. This case is magnetic. Similar to the Dior Lippy, this is also 3.5 grams of product and this is how much I have left. So I've used this one a lot. When I first got this lipstick, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it because the texture is a little bit harder than the other. It's not as smooth and as creamy as the other formulations that I'll be showing you. It's definitely not as slippy and moisturizing. So for that reason, I do typically like to pair this with a lip gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this now. So again, this is three swipes on the back of my hand and this is more of like a pure pink, whereas beside it, the Dior is really more of a peachy tone. This product does have a little bit of a perfumey scent to it, so if you're sensitive to that, I would take a whiff of it before investing the money in this. So here is Feather Pink once it's been applied to my lips. On the lips, you can smell like the perfumey scent of the lipstick, but I don't find it bothers me too much and it goes away really quickly. The formulation is creamy, but it's a lot drier. There's much more resistance when you're putting on the lippy, whereas all of the other formulations I'll be talking about glide on very well. So for that reason, I find the color does last a little bit longer with this lippy versus the other ones. So next up we're going to be talking about a sheer lippy from Chanel and this is the Rouge Coco Shine. I have number 62 Monte Carlo and this is a little bit of a deeper pinky red shade. The packaging is really nice. It's a black tube with a simple gold band in the center and then of course there's the Chanel logo on top. Out of all of the lippies that I'm going to be talking about today, this is the smallest size. You get 3 grams of product. really like the formulation. Again, this doesn't last very long on my lips at all, but it's really smooth and really balm-like. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. 
So again, three swipes on the back of my hand yields this color here. It is definitely a pink lipstick, but I feel it has a little bit of a red undertone to it. But because it's so sheer, it pulls almost coral when you swatch it. And I don't know if that makes any sense. The one thing I don't really like about it is the scent. It's a florally perfumey scent, but I find it can be rather strong. So here is Monte Carlo applied to my lips. Once again, it's a really smooth, slick texture. Lots of slip and it feels very moisturizing. It does move around a lot though, like it doesn't get all over the place, but it does um, wear off. So I do have to reapply this. So out of all of these formulations, I would say this one does have the most slip. It probably is the most emollient, so it will move around more and it also will wear off a little bit faster than the other ones. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is my favorite formulation out of all of them and it is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine and this is the one I received from Pebbles in our swap. I love it. It is number 13 Pink in Paris and it's a beautiful mid-tone pink. The packaging of the YSL Lippies is second to none. I love this packaging. It's very weighty and it is also very luxe as you can see. It's just very intricate and very beautiful. So this is probably my favorite packaging out of all of the Lippies followed by the Burberry. So even though I just got this, I did make a slight dent into it. This is a very generous size at 4.5 grams. This is the largest lippy that we're going to be talking about today. I find this one is also a little bit more pigmented than the rest and as such the color lasts a little bit longer but the texture is also really balmy and really smooth and I find it reasonably moisturizing. So yeah, let me go ahead and swatch it here. So this is three swipes and I didn't swatch it very well because it's on an angle, but as you can see it is quite a bit more pigmented than the previous three that I swatched. Of course that will vary depending on what shade you select, but this being a mid-tone pink I'm really happy with the pigmentation and the color payoff. This scent to me is absolutely perfect. It's more of a fruity scent, maybe that's why I'm more tolerant of it. So here is Pink in Paris applied to my lips. I love the shade. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful mid-tone pink. This is more on the expensive side of the lipsticks that we'll talk about, but again, this one is the largest in terms of size. You get the most product, and the packaging, in my opinion, is the most beautiful or the most luxe out of all of them. So yeah, really, really loving this lipstick. It is such a pleasure to use. It goes on smooth and creamy. The color payoff is really nice. I find this lasts a decent amount of time, probably two to three hours versus the Chanel, which is like I get to work and it's almost all gone. The last lipstick I'm going to be talking about in this video is one by Giorgio Armani and it's the Rouge Armani Sheer. I got this very recently over the holidays so I've only used it a handful of times and the color that I selected is a little bit darker than I normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So for that reason this hasn't gotten a lot of wear but I still really love this lipstick and wanted to talk a little bit about it today. So this is in the shade 600 and it is a plum shade. The packaging again is gorgeous. This has a really weighty packaging. It's a black tube, but it's not quite um, circular. It's kind of like an offset oval, if that makes any sense. In this lipstick, you get 3.8 grams of product. So here's the color I picked up. Again, it is like a plum shade, but it's sheer, so I find it a little bit more wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. So as you can see, this lipstick is reasonably pigmented, but it is definitely a sheer lipstick. There is no scent to it, and I like that about this product a whole lot. Here is number 600 applied to my lips. I really love this shade. So even though I've only worn this a handful of times, I've really fallen in love with the formulation. It is really smooth and emollient. I forgot to mention that this tube is also magnetic. 
Overall, I do really love the formulation of all of these sheer lippies. I'm really happy I have them in my collection. My favorite one, of course, like I mentioned, is the YSL. Combination of the scent, the formulation, and also the packaging. I really like the Dior and the Giorgio Armani because they are unscented and I find the formulation is really easy to work with. Relatively moisturizing and even though the lipstick doesn't last a very long time, it is a pleasure to reapply. In terms of the Burberry and the Chanel, I do like the textures of these even though they're very different like I mentioned the Burberry is much more of a drier texture there's more resistance when you apply this product whereas the Chanel is the most emollient out of the bunch it almost feels a little bit slick on your lips like a little bit oily on your lips which I don't think is a bad thing but if you don't like that feeling then you probably will not like the Chanel both of these have kind of a strong fragrance scent a perfumey scent if you will and I find even even after you apply the product, you can still smell it on your lips for a little while. And if you're sensitive to scents, then these two might not be a good choice for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful or interesting. If you liked this video, please thumbs it up. And until I see you again, please take care and bye for now.